What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the Porto Liverpool post-match analysis video let me know what did you think of the game in the comments below and how far do you think Liverpool will go in the Champions League I will put up a vote on the YouTube card and you can decide I think we will go as far as possibly the semi-final I'm really hoping this is the case and this was a magnificent performance but before I break down the whole performance and also uh, how far Liverpool can go in the Champions League I have to give my sincerest apologies for you guys I haven't uploaded on this channel for a month and I'm really really truly sorry I, I had some big big personal problems and issues to deal with I will make a detailed video about it but just to sum it up my brother is uh, terminally ill he has this illness for a number of years now and he was getting better he was getting uh, the perfect medication but then my mother and his uh, and my brother's doctor decided to uh, alter his medication and that completely ruined his health and uh, and he lost his job and uh, his health just deteriorated really really badly and he was in a hospital in and out a couple of times also both my grandparents were in, a, in the hospital and I had to take care of, uh, of my brother and I had to take my, my grandparents to hospital as well my uh, grandpa had uh, some uh, heart problems and, uh, and cardiovascular problems my, my grandma fell down twice and uh, broke uh, her hip which which was just horrible and she could barely walk for uh, one or two weeks so it was a really really hard time I, I will be honest guys I was very depressed I didn't want to make a video where I'm not my cheerful and joyful self and I didn't want to bring you guys down as well so that's why I decided to just take a break from YouTube deal with these personal issues thankfully my brother's health is getting slowly better my grandparents are both out of the hospital now and they are much better and also I went uh, skiing I went on a skiing holiday uh, that holiday was booked months in advance and if I didn't go on the holiday I would have lost a uh, uh, pretty big money because uh, everything was already paid so I decided to go and then we had a car accident on the way to the skiing holiday which was just horrible because it was a one and uh, one and a half thousand kilometer drive we went to France four of us uh, three and my uh, three of my friends and me were in the car and we had a pretty bad car accident in Austria and we still have had uh, 1000 kilometers ahead of us and the car wasn't working we thankfully nobody was uh, injured but the accident happened at 1 a.m. on the Austrian autobahn the Austrian highway and uh, we couldn't go um, further until 9 a.m. so we had we spent the night in a parking lot in the car which was just horrible and uh, it was just a big big uh, headache and I'm still dealing with all the insurance and everything uh, thankfully they fixed the car in Austria but we had to get another car and it was a big headache because we had all our skiing gear with us so I will I will go into detail about everything that happened it was just a crazy few weeks in my life and I will I will talk about it if you are interested I will talk about it in a separate video but now let's talk about the Porto Liverpool game which was just a magnificent magnificent game the first 10-15 minutes I was pretty worried because Porto made a couple of really good attacks and Octavio or Otavio not sure how to pronounce his name Porto player almost scored when uh, he went through the ball ricocheted between two Liverpool players and uh, and uh, the ball was uh, you know dropped to Octavio he shot Lovren blocked it and Karius already went the other way and thankfully the ball went over the bar but I, I for a second I thought that was in and that was a really really nervous moment but after that Liverpool settled into the game and uh, we really really dominated after that first goal went in where Sadio Mane Vinadum uh, sets the ball up to Mane who shoots and uh, Jose Sa I'm not sure how uh, if what's his name Jose Sa the Porto goalkeeper makes an absolute mess of that save because the ball slips under his body and Mane gets his first goal and it was a very very vital goal because that settled the Liverpool nerves the Porto players got really really 
upset and nervous and I think uh, after that Liverpool really really dominated and I was so so happy with the performance. Mane in the end ended up scoring a hat-trick of goals and this is the first hat-trick um, I think from a Liverpool player for, away from home since Michael Owen uh, like 20 years ago I'm not sure or, or how many years ago but it was almost uh, 20 years ago since Michael Owen scored an away hat-trick in the Champions League for Liverpool Firmino got on the score sheet as well after a brilliant Milner cross finds Firmino in the box and Mane's last goal was just an absolute peach Salah scored the second where you know the ball um, I think it was Milner who shoots from the left side it hits the post it comes out to Salah and Salah has the composure to flick it over the goalkeeper and then he flicks it the ball up with his head and then he shoots onto the other side of the goal because the defender was on the on the right hand side of the goal so an absolutely magnificent goal I was just cheering so loudly when that goal went in and I'm really really happy for this performance because I was nervous before the game I remember after Liverpool won the Champions League the next season we faced Benfica in the last 16 and everybody was you you know really really confident as confident as as uh, the Liverpool fans were today that uh, you know a Portuguese team coming from a uh, not the strongest league in the world you know Liverpool will knock uh, Benfica out in 2005-2006 and we lost the first leg 1-0 and then we lost the second leg 1 or 2-0 as well and it was a really really underwhelming performance and we don't have the best re record against Portuguese sides if you look it up Liverpool's record against Portuguese sides in the Champions League is not the best so to win here 5-0 and remember this is Porto's uh, biggest home defeat in the Champions League in their history which is which is saying something but Liverpool you know um, we can uh, do damage if our front players are on form and oh boy they were on form today Porto could have scored a couple of goals themselves they had a big chance after Liverpool went 2-0 up thankfully they missed the target but after that Liverpool were in complete control and Mane's last goal where he finds the, the far corner of the goal he just blasts it uh, when it opened up for him it was brilliant it was so good to see Mane back in his uh, back to his best with full confidence I'm really really happy for him overall the Liverpool's performance just as Jurgen Klopp de described was very professional very uh, effective hard working and uh, and I think the tie is over we can rest some players in the second leg which is vital because that comes I think uh, four days before the Manchester United Liverpool game which is another massive game and Liverpool on this form can give the big guns, the Real Madrid's, the, the Barcelona's, the Bayern Munich's, Liverpool can give them a big, big problem. The big question, of course, is the defense. But since Van Dijk came in, we had a couple of really bad defensive performances. We lost to Swansea, we lost to West Brom at home, which was devastating. Um, I was in France on this skiing holiday when that happened. But you know since then you know we won we won at Southampton 2 0 with a very good defensive performance and today again it was a very good defensive performance and uh, you know Van Dijk with either Lovren or Matip our defense looks a lot more solid and I'm so happy that also Moreno is back so we can rotate at left back if we want as well Alexander Arnold and Joe Gomez have been uh, pretty good at, uh, at right back as well so our defense is shaping up to to be much much better than in the first half of the season and we will oh boy we will need that if we want to do anything in the Champions League because uh, look at the teams left in the competition you know if we come up against uh, somebody like Barcelona or Bayern Munich or Real Madrid or even Paris Saint-Germain um, or Manchester City we our defense will have to be much much better than in the first half of the season that's our Liverpool's biggest weakness because going forward our attack is as good as anyone's in the in the whole Champions League in my opinion because 
The Femino Mane Salah front line has scored 63 goals combined and it's only in the middle of February. Salah has 30 goals in 36 games. I'm lost for words how to describe this guy. An absolute revelation he has been. The, by far the signing of the season and I can I think he is the player of the season so far, even though De Bruyne and Man City have been doing amazing really well as, uh, as well. But I think Salah, 30 goals in 36 games, 22 of them came in the Premier League in only 26 games. It's just absolutely, absolute craziness. And also Salah has a lot of assists. Firmino, very, very good player as well. He's having the best season of his Liverpool career. He has. 21 goals and 12 assists, I believe, in, for Liverpool, which is, you know, his highest goal scoring season so far at Liverpool has been 12 goals. And now he has 21 goals and it's already February. Mane has 12 goals as well, I believe. Or, and, and I think he will get quite a few more because this is what Mane needed. A game where the floodgates open and he can score two or three goals and his confidence we are being sky high going into the West Ham and Newcastle game. And let's look ahead. West Ham at home, Newcastle at home. Two, two winnable games. Again, Liverpool dropped quite a few points uh, at home against these sides. Remember, we, we, drew, we have drawn against Everton, we have drawn against uh, West Brom. Sorry, yeah, in the league we have drawn against West Brom. So uh, there is no easy game in the Premier League, but on this form, I, I'm confident that Liverpool will collect six points. And then I think the Liverpool Porto game is a formality. I can't see Porto winning by six goals at Anfield. Uh, if we put up a very strong side, we can, um, you know, get to the quarterfinals of the Champions League and then. We go to Manchester United and that is the key game of the season in my opinion. If Liverpool can go there and pick up a victory, we can even finish second in the, in the Premier League. That's how confident I am of Liverpool finally fixing their defensive problems. But because going forward, we can, uh, we can uh, score a bucket load of goals uh, until the end of the season. So that's my review of the Porto Liverpool game. I will try to upload daily from now on. I'm back and I'm back for good. I'm sorry that I took a long break from YouTube, but I'm really, really hoping that you guys are looking forward to the videos because I have some really, really good videos lined up for you guys. So thanks for watching. Stay awesome. See you later. Goodbye.